Uh, yes, we are covering the Ram 7 once again here in Modern Warfare 3. I've covered this thing an absolute bunch in my attachments change basically every single season. It's pretty simple though. They keep adding more and more attachments that make this thing better and better. Extremely fast fire rate, super low recoil, great damage. There's not much to dislike about the Ram 7. And honestly, with the additions of some new attachments, it might be one of the better assault rifles in the game, and I think it's being pretty overlooked. But of course, that's going to be up for debate. You guys can go down in the comment section. Let me know where do you think the RAM it falls on a tier chart here in Modern Warfare 3. So basically, this entire build is going to be focused around recoil control. It's just how I personally enjoy using the weapon, and that's where our first attachment comes in. The stock is going to be the Hunker 5 stock pad, gun kick control, aiming idle sway, and fire aiming stability. 12% there to the gun kick is going to be gained, but more importantly is fire aiming stability. Without attachments like this one, this weapon has so much shake on it, it becomes very difficult to end up hitting your shot. So fire aiming stability is going to be your best friend on this build. Our next attachment is the Retort 90 Grip Tape. That's going to give you, guess what? Fire aiming stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. Like I said, this whole build is based around this premise. So it's going to be a 10% increase to gun kick, 7% to horizontal and vertical recoil control, and then fire aiming stability as well. My next attachment is a magazine with a 40 round mag. And as always, it is optional. Feel free to run the 60 round drum, the 40 round mag, 20 round mag if you want, even the 30. At the end of the day, it's going to be based on your play style, depending on what map you're playing. Any of these are good choices. Feel free to run what you want. Your next attachment is going to be the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. I've tried a lot of underbarrels on this thing, and this one always felt the best due to the gun kick, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil control, and fire aiming stability increase on this one. In this particular case, it just always makes the weapons virtually shakeless. And especially with weapons that have a lot, like the Ram 7, it does a very good job of controlling that. 11% is going to be gained to our gun kick and 8% to the horizontal recoil control. And our final attachment is a muzzle with the Quartermaster's suppressor the newest attachment into the game and this thing's absolutely awesome you're going to be undetectable by radar of course it is a suppressor keeping you off the mini map but we are getting so much to gun kick and recoil control 11 percent there to the gun kick 23 percent to the horizontal recoil control 10% to the vertical recoil control, eliminating virtually all the recoil on this weapon. Yes, you are going to slow your weapon down a bit. 6% to the ADS, 6% to the sprint to fire. But when you're building out a no recoil weapon, not many muzzles can match the efficiency of this one. Here's going to be all those attachments on the screen. If you guys needed to pause the video to copy this one down, if you guys are curious about how to unlock the quarter master suppressor, you guys just need to unlock it through your armory unlocks. You guys can find that in the muzzle category or in the challenges menu. You guys can just go to armory unlocks and end up finding where you exactly you can get this thing. So I know a lot, I'm going to get a lot of questions about that. It's going to be pretty simple. If you guys want to maybe see a video or a clip on how to unlock that, I'll definitely post that for you guys. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys need to do pause to also copy this one down, this gameplay is about to be a banger because this is the best Ram 7 build I've put out to date. You guys are going to enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe button, whatever, all the good stuff. Help me spread this video to reach other people looking for banger Call of Duty content. Let's get into it. First time loading into Tokyo here in season five. Let's see how this map plays without the DNA bomb. Obviously, this technically means I've never nuked the map. I mean, in theory, I've never got an MGB. I'm pretty sure I've gotten a 30 gun streak, but MGB, I don't think so. One of my go-to maps, one of my favorites that they added. And I'm very convinced that some of these maps actually would have been fan favorites had they released in maybe a different game or at the launch. Like the remade map thing was cool. But I think they should have maybe sprinkled the remade maps throughout the year and given us a, a lot more classic maps right at the beginning of the game. I think it would have benefited the game more. You guys let me know how you're feeling about that opinion. I know a lot of people prey on nostalgia when it comes to those remade maps. And I was one of them. I really enjoyed them when they first came out. But I feel like it's a change of pace is the best way to put it. Oh, I could not sneak away. Bro, I've been making that mistake. I'm getting overzealous with it because I'm so used to streaks counting to DNA bombs that I just push everything and I don't really care. Where is this guy on the hill? There we go. UAV.
Oh, J-Dub, good play, man. He must have saw me because he backed up really quick. You know, that's actually a, a crazy one. He's got the M13B, and he's got the... I think that's the new Mercury camo on it, which is the uh, Mastery or whatever. I think that's what it's called, Mercury something or other. How did they just spawn here? Why did they just spawn here? Here we go. Loading. I half want to go pick up his weapon. I want to know what he's running. I don't know if it's the M13B or M13C. It's one of them. Another VTOL. I need this advanced, so I'm not playing over. Not playing over aggressive. There it is. That gives us a lot more info. We can definitely do more with that. Thanks for coming. All right, we're in it. We're in it. There's our advance. I'm running away for a second here. He had a rocket. I don't know how I survived that. That was an RPG. That's a 28, need two kills. So we're gonna drop this on this, so I actually at least have the cover to sneak through, possibly. I gotta take advantage while this is out. Dude, I am choking. I have been really bad about choking under pressure today, I swear to God. The pressure gets to me and I just can't figure it out. All right, that's what I'm talking about. 56 kills with ooh, so much game to go. You can see it definitely stresses me out a little more. When it comes to getting an MGB, there's so much more that relies on me to get that. Oh, good kill. He hit me with the car 98. Yeah, it was a car 98. I was gonna say, he peeked that corner and he quick scoped the heck out of me. This new suppressor is vibey too. Having a suppressor that's actually decent is really nice. They're gonna be here, right? Right? Maybe not. Dust it off. Standing by. Swapping back. Huh. Wait, what? Where are they spawning? This guy is just showing up. Dossing some decks. I I mean I just got suicide. I can't say that word. I can't say that word on YouTube. I want you know where I'm going with this. Oh, end yourself, bombard. Is there an invisible barrier right here? Hello? What the hell? Who shot me? I'm not sure who's shooting me, man. Got one down. Friendly mosquito active. 
about to uh, slam in there. Wait, that was almost real sauce. I was about to say, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna just gonna stop. I'm going to finish in their back door to say the long story short is what was about to be said. And I thought twice about it. A couple of sus things that almost got said during this one that not exactly proud of. That's tragic. That's tragic. Stink gas to the mouth. That probably didn't taste very good. Bro, holy crap. This is an angle I didn't know existed, but this is an angle. Learning new stuff. I won't let any grenade move. Changing that. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. I'm really close to another streak here. One kill. Zero kills. There's another one there. All right, let's veto that. 90 kills. Hundreds, 100% in the cards. 150% in the cards. All right, that's a hundred. I can probably work up to another 10 here or something like that. Someone else on my team got me an advanced UAV. Cause that's not my advanced UAV. I don't think that was my advanced UAV. At least. 110. There's the 10. What can I say? What can I say? You guys are getting beamed. They're on both sides of me though. He stuck me. Oh, that's insane. That's insane. MGB is in. 124. Ladies and gentlemen, 132 freaking kills on the map of Tokyo. You're visualizing here why this map is just a banger for me every time.